Welcome to RVing TV, the channel dedicated to RV and automotive reviews. We will bring you test drives, product reviews, and from time to time, great RV and driving destinies. Hi, this is Bruno from RVing TV. Some of our viewers may know me as Bruno from Bella Vista RV. RVing TV is dedicated to the RV lifestyle and lifestyle in general. Today we're going to explore something in this RV and that is cooking with a convection oven. I sell RVs as part of my living and I get asked on a regular basis, Bruno, why shouldn't I have an oven? Why are so many manufacturers using convection ovens in quality RVs? So today we're going to take a look and we're actually going to be baking and give you an idea of how well a convection oven cooks. Now, most of the units we carry actually carry residential style convection microwave combinations. Don't be fooled. This microwave convection runs in three modes. One mode is a microwave oven, one is a combination of microwave and convection, or you can run it in convection only. Bella Vista RV has been gracious enough to lend us this American Coach Revolution for our demonstration today. So I thank them. Now on this American Coach we have a Whirlpool convection microwave. What's nice with this Whirlpool is that it can run in both manual and automatic mode. So if you're brand new to convection ovens, it's really simple. You're going to press convection bake it's actually going to take you through the steps and tell you on the screen what you need to do. You'll press 1 for automatic, for example, and it'll say baking. Hit the button it tells you, and then it's going to ask you what kind of baking are you doing. Are you baking a cake? Are you doing biscuits? Are you doing brownies? And you can select those functions. Hit start, and the oven will do everything itself. My preferred method is to use manual mode. Now, in future videos, we'll bring you some more cooking demonstrations so you can get a sampling of different foods. Today, we're actually going to be cooking, whoops, baking a cake. Uh, I am taking a shortcut. So, my cake of choice is actually a President's Choice. This is a, Mascar, uh, a Madagascar bourbon vanilla cake. What's really nice about these PC cakes is uh, they're fairly decent on calories, but the ingredients are really good. They stay away from the palm oils and some of those ingredients that can really ra raise cholesterol levels, which is a big problem nowadays. And if you're traveling, you want to be able to eat as good as possible. So today we're going to try this Madagascar bourbon vanilla cake. Um, for some of you who don't like vanilla, they do have a red velvet cake as well. And then we've chosen to top it off with a creamy French vanilla icing. Now, during some of the segment, we're actually going to cut out so you don't have to watch some of the mundane tasks that are going to occur. But we'll get going here. Um, what I love about the convection oven is you can do everything from your cakes, your cookies, I've done lasagnas, pizza, french fries, and it's no different than cooking in an oven other than it's a little bit quicker and the food is a little bit tastier. You're getting, with a convection oven, you're not only getting the heat of an oven, but you're actually having a fan circulate that heat for better and even, more even heat distribution. So you'll find the food cooks better, faster, and is going to be much tastier. So what we want to do when we get started is you'll want to take a look at your convection oven. Sometimes you'll already have, especially if it's a new coach, a second level cooking rack. We're going to want to take that out for cake, set that aside, and we're going to want to put in our convection rack that's going to raise the cake pan up. Now we've already prepped our butter, which is going to be required, some melted butter. We did that on our induction cooktop that's becoming uh, very much a standard on many RVs, especially larger diesels. And you'll want to remember that you need to have the proper pots in order to cook on an induction. Uh, 
And as you'll notice, I'm not using a small pot because you're not going to carry 50 different pots. I'm using a typical pot that we're going to use, which we'll bake rice in, we may do some pasta, etc. So we've prepped that, so on with our demonstration. Now, part of the demonstration, our V style, nice to have a nice glass of wine, maybe it might be a scotch or a root beer, if you prefer. So we're going to enjoy ourselves while we're doing this. So first thing we're going to do, we need a couple of uh, eggs as well as some milk. We're going to put the milk in here and we're going to do this traditional RV style. So some RVers, if you're living out of the motorhome, you're actually going to have a portable mixer. You may even have a really nice KitchenAid mixer if you like to do a lot of baking. But if you're only vacationing out of your coach, you might, you might not carry those items. So today we're going to do a traditional style hand whisking and we're going to start to preheat our oven. So here we need to have it at a temperature of 325. So we're going to select our convection and it's just telling me whether I want auto or whether I want manual mode. So I've selected manual. It's going to ask us for our temperature now and it's giving us selections. So there's pre-programmed. Our selection is number three, 325 degrees. We're going to hit start and it's going to start preheating. When it's preheated, it'll beep, it'll tell us it's ready to go. In the meantime, we'll add in our butter and we're going to start giving it a gentle mixing to start mixing up our flour, our cake mix, and everything together here. Now at the same time, usually while you're cooking, and you can't see it through the camera here, but I like to usually have some music going or a movie in the background. Right now we're actually running Star Trek. Yes, I'm a Trekkie, so we're running Star Trek in the background. I've just muted the sound. What's beautiful about this American coach is it's really equipped for living. Now when I say living, we have full surround sound home theater on board and my toes are nice and toasty right now because we even have a front heated floor and then a secondary zone in the bedroom which is really nice when you get up in the morning in the cool weather and you want your feet to be nice and warm so we're standing here to tootsies nice and warm. Uh, this is really living the lifestyle. Now, in some regular coaches, you're just traveling in a regular vacationing coach, an entry or a mid-level, we're not going to have the polished ceramic tiles and the heated floors, but you should be looking for a really well insulated floor. This is really smelling really great. This is one of my favorite cakes. It's very moist and really, really flavorful. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm going to switch hands here. Had a little injury a couple of years ago with that right arm, so got to give it a little bit of a break from time to time. Now, a mixer, of course, would be way, way easier. But again, if you're only going away weekends, you're not going to be carrying all that extra gear. Now, in some future videos, which I'll talk about here, um, you know, keep an eye on our channel and we're going to bring you some other cooking demonstrations from time to time. One of our future demos we're going to take a look at baking some homemade bread and we're also going to take a look at traveling if you're doing more long-term living, long-term vacations, actually making some homemade ice cream that you can do while you're away. And what's nice with this is you know you can have those natural ingredients eat really well and not pack on the pounds because you will find when you travel you're going to be a little hungrier than normal. So that's looking pretty good. Now in our preparation the instructions are usually going to call for two 8 inch pans. 
not always my preference, especially when I'm traveling. Much more convenient to carry a bunt pan, or you may just have a traditional circular, a little bit taller. I like my cakes a little thicker rather than being layered in between. Saves a little bit of work, still gets the same effect overall. So we're actually gonna be cooking ours, or baking ours, I should say, in a bunt pan today. So what we'll do right now, cake's just, the cake batter's just about ready. Uh, we're gonna need a little bit of time to prep the oven to do its final preheating. So we'll check in very shortly. The oven has actually just beeped that it's ready. We've been gone for, oh, this has taken, you know, ballpark, seven minutes from when I cut the video uh, to, to this segment. So it's a very effective way of cooking, very quick to heat up. If you're hitting some of the higher temperatures, of course, it's gonna take a little longer. 325 is a pretty reasonable temperature to reach. We'll scoop out a little bit of the extra batter here. And you notice I'm not getting fancy with utensils, just the basics that you're going to have on your RVing trip. That looks great. Mm, even the raw batter is really good. Now, one quick note I should mention, because I mentioned wine earlier. We want to make sure that if you're having wine and you're baking, please don't be drinking and driving anywhere. Play it safe. Open the wine only when you're stationary in a campground and you're not planning to drive or go anywhere during the day. You'll enjoy it the best. Your neighbors will enjoy it and appreciate that you're being responsible. Having said that, that's a really nice cabaret today. View, uh, VQA in Ontario. Our bun pan is ready, so we're gonna take it, put it in our convection oven. Please be extra careful because this is gonna be very, very, very hot. We're gonna close the door and it's going to ask us to press start. And we are going to want a cook time. Uh, sorry, I should have read this earlier. Uh, we're going to be cooking this about 18 to 20 minutes. And we've set our timer and we're good to go. So the convection oven, really effective. What we're going to do is cut out for a short bit. I'll bring you back when the cake is actually done. We'll take a look at it and, uh, and do a little summary of what we've done here. So the timer's now gone off. Let's take a look at our cake to see what it looks like. And then we'll let it cool for a bit and we'll prep it. So you can see a really nicely cooked cake. I'm gonna put this down because it is very, very hot. So be cautious with that. Really nicely cooked cake. I've, uh, let's just make sure we can do a little toothpick test, toothpick in, comes out nice and clean and smooth, so our cake is 100% ready. I'm gonna finish prepping the cake and we'll check back in with Okay, you. so we've taken our cake out of the oven, iced it, and now don't be shocked folks, this is not going to be a beautiful cake. I'm just an average guy who has a little bit of cooking skill, not a lot, and that's what our cake looks like. Uh, it's going to be absolutely delicious to eat. I'm really looking forward to this, but I think we're gonna put the glass of wine away and prep ourselves with a nice cold glass of milk, which is the best way to have cake in my opinion. Uh, but to, to just simply show you, this video will show how easy it is to use the convection oven. So many people are really concerned about it, but it will really walk you through the steps. 
the manuals are really good and realistically you're going to read a page, page and a half of that manual just outlining, outlining some of the key functions that you can use and just start using it. You're going to find it's really easy, it's going to prompt you for what you need to do in every step to get cooking. You're going to love the way the food tastes and you're just going to enjoy using the convection oven. As I mentioned earlier, myself, uh, this is actually my first cake that I've done in the convection oven, but I have done chocolate chip cookies, pizza, fries, lasagna is one of my favorites to do when I travel. Nothing like having a great lasagna and steak dinner with some Caesar salad and a nice glass of wine while you're traveling. So if, if you're interested in seeing more of what the convection oven can do and other appliances, uh, plus we're going to try to throw in some recipes from time to time, check back with our channel. If you're interested in finding out some information on some great motorhomes and trailers, visit our sister channel at Bella Vista RV for some great units that Bella Vista carries uh, in stock at their dealership. But Bruno, this is Bruno from RVing TV saying thank you for watching this video. Check back soon. As I mentioned, we will bake some fresh bread as well as we're going to show you how to make fresh homemade ice cream while you're out RVing and how simple it is but how tasty it's going to be rather than having to buy store-bought ice cream itself. So this is Bruno from RVing TV saying thank you for watching our video. If you like the video, please click the like button. Feel free to subscribe. You'll be notified of upcoming videos as they're available. And feel free to check out our website at rvingtv.com. That's rvingtv.com. Well, I wish your life to be full of pleasure and experiences that you'll enjoy and have memories forever. Take care.